up close and still dangerous. Chernobyl's reactor four, the scene of the total meltdown 25 years ago. Exactly the crisis that scientists in Japan have been battling to avoid. It was and remains the world's worst nuclear accident. Dozens of people were killed, thousands more died from cancer, among them soldiers ordered to the front line of the cleanup. A quarter of a century on, we were given extremely rare access into the contaminated reactor block, but only briefly and in special clothing and face masks that remain on site. The radiation we absorbed was carefully monitored. The passage of time means levels are much lower now, except deep inside the concrete entombed reactor at the melted core itself. And this is the control room of reactor four, the place where the men who were running it that day were working. And for a while they knew that something was going wrong, but they didn't realize that there'd been a massive explosion in the main hall just 50 meters away, and the whole reactor was in meltdown. Unit 4 is an eerie place, and because its radioactive debris is still not properly contained, it remains a threat to the wider world. It looks better from the outside than the inside. If you were able to go into the central hall today and look out, you would find that there's holes the size of picture windows at various locations in the object shelter. It's, it's, a, it's a problem that needs to be dealt with. The structure will gradually be completed with the rest there of the There are ambitious but expensive plans to build a vast new the cover for the reactor. This would finally make Chernobyl safe for a hundred years, containing the any radiation if the reactor building collapsed. The city of Pripyat, from which 50,000 people fled in an afternoon, is still contaminated and abandoned. Work at the plants now. Andre Glukov lived here and had been due to operate Reactor 4 that day, but his shift changed. When I see the kindergarten where my children stayed, when I see the buildings where my friends used to live. Some of them are no longer with us. So this is, this is emotional. This is, this is sad. There is no sign of the 20-mile exclusion zone around the reactor being lifted, a reminder that when nuclear power goes wrong, it can go very badly wrong. Daniel Sanford, BBC News, Chernobyl.